Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. Test your eyesight the cosmic way. Can you see the horse and its rider? Greetings, greetings, fellow stargazers. According to popular folklore, some of our ancestors tested their eyes the cosmic way. And you can perform that very same eye test yourself. Any clear night, you can see the Big Dipper. Let me show you. Okay, we're facing due north any spring evening before midnight. And depending on the exact hour and weather, it's March, April, May, or June, the Big Dipper will be high up off the horizon, either to the east of the North Star, or west of the North Star, or directly above it. Four stars trace out its cup, and three stars make up its handle. But we're going to pay attention to what looks like to most people the one star at the bend of the handle, a star named Mizar. Now, although you have undoubtedly seen this star many times, have you ever really looked at it really close? Because if you do look at it really close, you will see that it is not just one star, but two. Indeed, right next to Mizar, you can see a slightly dimmer star, a star named Alcor, which in Arabic means the lost or friendless one. And many centuries ago, it was said that these two stars, bright Mizar and dimmer Alcor, were used as a kind of ancient eye exam for a famous sultan's army. If a recruit could see both stars, he was in. But if he couldn't, he was out. I kind of question the validity of that story, however, because most people can see both stars. Although admittedly, nowadays I have to use my glasses. So maybe the test was for older recruits. At any rate, these two stars became popularly known as the horse and the rider. Bright Mizar being the horse and dimmer, Elcor being the lost, friendless rider. And you can see them for yourself any night you can see the Big Dipper. And there our ancient human eye test ends. But it doesn't end for modern eye tests for eyes of a different kind. The eyes of telescopes and spectroscopes. Because if we aim a spectroscope at Elcor the Rider, we see that this so-called lost, friendless one is not so friendless after all. In fact, Elcor has a companion rider, another star invisible to the naked eye, thus making Elcor two riders on Mizar the Horse. But even that's not the whole story, because if we look really close at Mizar the Horse, we discovered that it is also not just one star, or two stars, or three stars, or four stars, but is in fact a rare quintuple star. Wow! In other words, when we look at this ancient Arab representation of a solitary horse with a solitary rider, we are in reality looking at two horsemen, not riding, but driving a team of five horses across the night sky on the bend of the handle of the Big Dipper. Seven stars all told. Two double stars and one triple star. Six of which are twice as big as our own million mile wide sun and at least 50% brighter. Incredible, isn't it? What modern astronomy reveals about stars that generation after generation have seen for thousands of years. So, Get the outside some spring night and gallop across the heavens with Mizar and Elcor, the horse and his rider, two visible stars which are in reality seven, a two-driver chariot pulled by five celestial steeds. Keep looking up. Make the Stars Your Own is available on DVD or VHS for $19.95.